This is Mandatory Minimums in 60 Seconds. Let's rewind to the 1970s. U.S. crime was rising dramatically and policymakers wanted to do something. Mandatory minimum law seemed like a good idea. Everyone who committed the same crime would have the same guaranteed sentence. Parole was limited and flexibility was taken from judges. Sentences would always be fair and politicians could get tough on crime. Everybody's happy, right? Well, no, not really. In the 1980s, Congress started creating mandatory sentences for all sorts of crimes, including drug offenses, and the federal prison population exploded. And the states weren't much better. California passed some of the most notorious mandatory sentences, and its prison population soared. We all want to be safe, but automatically locking up nonviolent people for years won't get us there. Think about this 21-year-old in Florida. State law says we'll spend three years in prison. That doesn't make us safer. But there's a solution. Don't let politicians become judge, jury, and executioner. Let judges do their jobs and choose a fair sentence to fit each unique crime.